y'all. Just doing some food prep at the house. Um, definitely next weekend is going to be a big weekend. It's Memorial Day weekend. So I'm thinking ahead two weeks because it's going to be um, kind of a crazy uh, time over the weekend. We're going down to the lake. So when we get back, not going to be a lot of time for food prep. So I purchased some things ahead of time that make for quick and easy meals. They're not as fresh as fresh food, but they're pretty darn good substitutes. So here's what I've got. I've got some rainbow cauliflower, some organic vegetables. I got these at Costco. A lot of the stuff is from Costco this week, but you can get most of the stuff at any grocery store. So I've got this roasted cauliflower. That'll go on a um, cookie sheet at four, roasted at 450 degrees. And what I'll do is I'll do that for about 20 to 30 minutes. A little olive oil, salt, and pepper. And then I'll throw on either one of these chicken patties. These are very, very good. This is the Kickin' Cajun Amy Lou Burger. Um, I've already tried these. They're very, very good. Very tasty. They are a little higher in sodium than this option. Um, this is a, they're both full cooked. So I'll be able to toss these right on top of the cauliflower and uh, have a good quick meal that's low in carbohydrates and high in protein and produce. So that's for next week. I got that kind of ready. And then the um, other things I made were for next week are hard boiled eggs and then I'm making my peanut butter balls. So what I have right here is one cup of peanut butter and a third a cup of honey. And then I used a um, packet of pumpkin spice protein powder from Advocare. So I've got kind of a thick paste here. And what I'm gonna do is throw in a few pumpkin seeds, about a third of a cup. And then I like things crunchy. So I crunched up some crisp cereal and I'm gonna throw these in. About a cup full. I'm gonna mix it up. And this one's kind of hard to mix because the uh, meal replacement shake is kind of thick, but I promise you it is worth the time. And then what you do, once you have it all incorporated, I like to use a mixer, or excuse me, a scoop. This is the Pampered Chef scoop. It's a teaspoon. And you make little energy balls with this. You just round it up and place it right there. And then you have a delicious treat. And these, you gotta be careful because they taste really good. But they, this little guy right here is about 100 calories. So you wanna make sure that you're good with portion control on those. So that is the pumpkin one. It's got pumpkin seeds, peanut butter, honey, a meal replacement shake, the uh, pumpkin meal replacement shake from Avocare, and um, some Crispix cereal. So those are really yummy. This next one, I've got a second recipe for you. I'm gonna put in about a third of a cup of chocolate chips and some oats. And there's already peanut butter and honey in there. About three quarters cups of oats. I told you before I cook like my grandma, so I don't really measure very well. Um, but um, I'm working off of a recipe, and my recipes always turn out well, so uh, that's good to know. So this is my husband's favorite. He really likes just the plain oats. Reminds him of a monster cookie. And so with that, we would mix those up and use that just like the regular scooper. And it's really fun when you have oops, it's really fun when you have a couple of different flavors uh, going on in there. So it's really cool. Uh, the next thing I want to show you, and the last thing, is a little food prep idea I found online that I love. It is so cool. Um, it is, it sounds so silly, but I love green smoothies. It's just the best way to get in some protein and some produce every single day. I do it as if it were a vitamin. Um, but sometimes when I'm in a hurry to get out the door, even though it only takes about two minutes to do this in a magic bullet, I feel like I just don't have the time to do it. So what I saw online is to pre-prep by putting all of your ingredients into one baggie. And with that, 
what we do is you take all of your ingredients. So let me show you what this looks like. I always keep frozen bananas like when they're starting to go bad. I always keep some in the in my, in a freezer bag in the freezer. So I put in a banana. That one was kind of mushy. And then I do a cup of frozen berries. And I always suggest that you buy an organic berry uh, because they use a lot of pesticides on those. So if you're trying to be healthy, if you're going to spend money on organic, frozen berries are the are key. Buy them at bulk at, at, a, at like a Costco. And then the spinach that I use, and this is my favorite one from Costco, is Muzzy's. And it comes in a bag like this. And this bag keeps these spin the spinach really, really fresh. So if your spinach tends to go bad, look for the one that comes in the bag that has these little tiny serrated dots in it. Um, really helps preserve it. The other thing that helps preserve it is what we're about to do right now. So I put two big spoonful or handfuls of spinach into these baggies. By the way, Ziploc has some new baggies out that are pretty sweet, a lot easier to use. And then this is important. You gotta squeeze the air out. So I get it started, and it still has some air in there. I'm gonna squeeze it all out. That helps keep it from getting freezer burn. So as you can see, it almost looks vacuum packed. And then these all go in the freezer. And then when it's time, I'm just gonna put a scoop of protein powder in and uh, toss it into my magic bullet. And I've got berries to go. So that's my food prep for this week, quick and easy stuff. Have a good week.